that that is one of those songs through time when the things are going kind of bad and I and I just want to know like hey I can get through this that's one of those songs I will put on and it is it is like talk to me talk to me like like you're you're talking to a guy from 1997 who when he first heard this he's like give it to me <laughs> my friend I have this buddy who lives in San Francisco Corey Sabatini do you know him <laughs> yeah Okay. Yeah. Corey used to write to me like, I don't know, every six months and be like, dude, quiet liar, quiet liar. I'm listening to that song right now. In fact, I think he recently like Instagrammed me or something. I was like, I love that song. You know, I was like, that's awesome. They had this piece of music that Eddie wrote that bass line for, you know, the bin, doom, did, doom, did, that, that bass line. And I was like, oh, this is like, it was full on. So I, I used to use the word emo before emo was like a genre of music. Right. That bass line was like 100% emo where I was like, oh, this is like, this is going to evoke emotion from me. So um, I think I had had this experience. You know, I was a 23-year-old guy. I came to New York. I actually have some Cub Country songs about the same thing. But I got really like, I was very uh, anxious all the time when I moved to the city for obvious reasons. It was a, like a really... It was a really big culture shock for me, and um, but I loved it. You know, I, I, there was something about me that, at that time that I, I just couldn't get enough of it, and I was all about living in the city. But I was sick all the time because um, I think my my immune system was taxed from like stress. I used to work at this restaurant and like take the train to and from work every day, and the winter was just fucking cold and and dark and like humid and i think i had this like you know i had like a, a like a healthy a healthy uh sense of self-doubt and that's where that that's where that song sprung from like 100 percent. i think that but the best way to make myself feel better in those situations is, was to sing about like how shitty it actually felt you know so lying in your bed, like suffering, covered up, that's like, that's real, you know, like being right. physically ill. Maybe we can relate now during COVID, but. Oh um, man, no, the, the, like, 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 honestly, like, it's so funny you say that because there was, there was a specific time during COVID. I remember just putting on that song and that, this is a mess line, just going and, oh, and yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like you really, like that song holds up. I don't care when you listen to that song. That song is solid, and yeah, mm -hmm. it's a it's an it's an awesome song. So thank you for uh, creating it. I'm glad that like you know, the songs that I grew up listening to did that for me, and and it like it really gives me like, I mean I I'll never tire of someone saying hey I still get emails about. Almost every band I've ever been in, someone will come out of the woodwork and say, hey, this song in particular. And I'm like, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you're like, you know, like a dude like me who came from Salt Lake City and grew up playing in like hardcore bands. And I had dreams of like playing music, period. Um, the best thing ever is that someone still listens to your songs. And, and I think it probably feels that way to everybody.